Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Hope you're having a good day. We have got subscriber mail here. We've got a few pieces. We've even got one that looks like it's international. So we're gonna open these up and see what we've been sent. All right, we are back. I've got all the envelopes opened up. And we're gonna start with this one here from Dig and Dave. I think a couple of these were uh, things that were sent to me because of donations that I made on live streams. Uh, I believe at least two of these are. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with one that we got from Dig and Dave here. Alrighty. And it's been a little while since I've had these sitting around for a couple of weeks. I, I like to wait until I get at least a few pieces of mail uh, to make it worth uh, posting a video. So. I apologize to some of the people who send stuff earlier um, than those who send things later. Yeah, some of these uh, might end up sitting around for a couple of weeks, but we always try and get to them. So here we have, all right, a 1963 Benjamin Franklin silver half dollar. I believe this was a coin that was found in a roll of half dollars. Uh, that Dig and Dave opened on one of his live streams that I donated for. So that's awesome. Always happy to have those. 1963 Denver. Ben Franklin, 90% half dollar. All right. We'll get into our next one here. This one is from Rick G. Profit Coins. And I believe this was also from a live stream. Let me uh, see there's a letter in here. I'm going to break away for a second just to read it. And then I'll be back with the find. Okay, so here we had a little letter here. It says, Midwest, thanks for your support and donations. Sorry we didn't find anything in the rolls, but at least one of the two rolls had a marked one tenth ounce round on it. Awesome. Remember, profit isn't always measured in dollar amount. That is so true. And it looks like we got one of his channel stickers here, awesome. So we'll add that to a few of the other ones that we have, that's a neat design. Jar of spilled coins there. I know a lot of you have seen this before. Cool, all righty. So he says that one of the rolls was marked 10th ounce round, so we're gonna open this up and see what it is. All right, I recognize this design. That's the Walking Liberty design. These are so cool. Kind of look like uh, American Silver Eagles. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, Rick. And thank you for the channel sticker as well. So we'll set those over here. And then we've got a few more here. And I think these are just things that were sent just because. All right, so I'm going to, uh, if these have letters in them, I'm going to pause for a second, read the letter, uh, just to make sure it's okay to read uh, um, for everyone, and then we'll cut back. All right, so we are back, and our next one is from Silver Heist. He sent a little letter here. I went ahead and read it. I think it'll be all right to read here. It says, Midwest Coin Hunter, do you stack channel stickers? I have enclosed my newly designed channel sticker for your collection. If you have a channel sticker yourself, I have enclosed a self-addressed stamp envelope for your convenience. Awesome. The Pay It Forward coin made a couple of spots after you. Pam's coins and Ray World and maybe more. I just saw the video. You two meet up with Dick and Dave. It was a close battle. Yes, it was. Very close. I might try live streaming when I get to 1,000 subs. Keep up the good hunts. Thank you very much. We got another sticker here. <laughs> awesome. Um, I currently do not have stickers, but I have been harassed. I mean, I've been asked uh, by quite a few people lately. It's actually something I'm looking into. I actually kind of started designing something. I know it's been a while people have been asking, but I do plan on getting a channel sticker of my own. So I will hold on to this. And when I get it, hopefully here shortly, I will be sending you one of mine as well. So thank you very much, Silver Heist. All right, we'll add this over here. 
And we have one now from the Gilson clan. And I see another letter in here, so I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are, the Gilson clan newsletter. They, man, this family is official. I'll tell you what, the Gilson clan has its own community sticker. They created a community sticker to share among the many great people in the coin and precious metal stacking community. This was a collaborative project amongst the Gilson family. Hope everyone likes the sticker. And here it is. I certainly like the sticker. Thank you very much. Now I really feel bad for not having my own. <laughs> but we will get those to you as soon as I get some in. And here are the other YouTube channel names of the Gilson family. So if you want to take a look at those and go check those channels out. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Show some support to our fellow YouTube coin community. Awesome. Thank you very much, Gilson family. And we have one more here. Uh, this one is international, looks like, based on the stamps from Germany. I did not write the return address is on the back. I did not recognize the format, so it was throwing me off. I had to look this up, but it looks like this is from Germany. So there is a letter in here. I'm going to, again, cut away, and I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, this is really cool. I'm excited about this. So we have this channel here, Gold Watch and Pay Dirt. It says, hello, my friend. I once collected these checks, and I have plenty of them. Now I have the idea to give some away. Hope you like them, and maybe I will see them again in one of your future mail calls. Just made my own channel stickers. I will add two of them. Have a nice day, Christian. So I'm gonna show you the uh, the channel stickers here first. Awesome, wow. So we got a bucket load of stickers in this mail call, which is cool. So here is Gold Watch and Pay Dirt, Germany. That is cool. And they sent two of them. Thank you very much, Christian. But check this out, guys. I had to take a second look at these to even figure out what in the world they were. They're checks, but check this out. Look at the dates on here. 1938, 1935, special check, Waverly, New York. How cool is that? The Citizens National Bank of Waverly, New York. Wow. Looks like Harding Candy Company. And another one here in the amount of $25 again. Citizens National Bank of Waverly, New York. Wow, that is really cool. The fact that these are, the dates on those are awesome. I've never seen checks like that before. Of course, way before my time, so maybe that's what they looked like back in uh, the uh, 30s. So thank you very much, Christian. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Happy to have something like this. This is totally different than anything else that I have in uh, my collection. I don't necessarily uh, call myself a collector of uh, banknotes or coins, but I'm slowly accumulating uh, different items as I'm getting more and more interested into it um, or interested in it. And this, these are really cool. So thank you very much for that. Again, just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to Dig and Dave. Thank to Rick G, Silver Heist, the Gilson clan, and Christian from uh, the uh, Pay Dirt. Um, channel there so awesome hope you guys enjoyed this video and again hopefully soon you will see my channel sticker coming soon all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next one